Jeff Blankman talking right now with Miles Rupiper of the Kemper Knights. We're at the uh, Carroll Co-Ed, or the, I should say, the Tiger Knight here tonight. And uh, Miles, uh, first place in both the high jump and in the long jump here today. Let's start off with the long jump. How did you feel out there tonight? How'd your jumps go? I think I jumped pretty well. The wind definitely helped me. That was a plus, but I know I've jumped better. Can get better still. Wind definitely helped, and that's what I think got me what I jumped. But I think with a good win like that and me jumping well, I can definitely get in the 22s, hopefully break the school record. What is the school record right now, and how close are you? 22 feet and a half inch. So okay. I'm at 21, 7, and 3 fourths of an inch. So it's definitely doable, and it's working towards that since I got the high jump record last week at 6, 7, and just kind of mentally preparing for Drake. Hopefully can get top three, if not win the thing. Because I know I definitely have the height to jump what the leader is jumping, but just got to get those legs over and get my form down more. It's been hurting me. Talk about the high jump tonight. Uh, you ended up picking up another victory there tonight. How did it go? It went all right. I'm glad I'm jumping consistently. Six set or six four, I jumped tonight, and that's kind of my goal. And I mean, I can break a few every every other meet. Just you know. 6-4 is consistent for me, and consistency is really key to success. How so, close did you come to getting over 6-4 tonight and getting 6-5, 6-6? 6-4, I cleared pretty, pretty easily my second jump. 6-6, six, six, I was there. Wind didn't help me in high jump. Blew me into the bar. I definitely had two good jumps out of it that I could have cleared, but I'm happy with the first place. Got team points, and just keep, keep working. Now you're going to be staying up tonight, making sure you're in Drake. I think coming in, I think fourth is the last time I looked. Mm -hmm. You're probably locked into it. You talked about, you know, trying to finish top three or if not winning it. What do you got to do to do that? Everybody seems to jump better down there. I agree. Last year going into state, I was 24th out of 24, and I think that really helped me because I wasn't thinking about it, and I didn't have any pressure on me, and I showed up. And I showed out. I jumped 6-5 last year as a freshman and placed 6. So hopefully I can do the same thing under pressure. Hopefully that boosts me higher. And the intensity at Drake, the atmosphere is insane, and I love it there. It's right. really amazing to jump at. Well, I tell you what, we wish you the best of luck in that. Other two events tonight, I know you were in the 4x1. Just the 4x1. Just the 4x1. Yeah. So one other event. How did that go tonight? Went really well. Unofficially got a 44-9-4. I was second leg. Our second, first to second handoff wasn't the greatest. Could be better, and I think that could have really set us in for Drake. But we're sitting on the verge line, with, but that's an unofficial time, so we're waiting for official time. Right now, going into today, 45.08 was going into Drake. So I'm hoping that I can go in with my team and my friends and have a good time. Who ran it with you tonight? Uh, first leg, Von Krause, then me, then Gage Gunnarsson, and then our anchor was Jacob Schaefer. Well, I tell you what, we wish you guys the best of luck. I'm sure you'll be up late kind of watching that score sheet tonight. Absolutely. Well, Miles, appreciate you joining us. No problem. Thank